Okay, now that we have our media installed, what we want to do, carefully remove the funnel again, not pulling the D-tube out of the cylinder. You're going to want to go ahead and fill your cylinder with water. Pour a cup of regular household bleach down the D-tube. You want to let that set for at least one hour, uh, up to 24 hours. So now to install our control valve, there are two O-rings. There's one on the inside here that seats to the D-tube and one on the outside that seats to the cylinder. What you're going to want to do is take some of the lube that we provided, put a little dab on the O-rings, and just go ahead. You want just a nice little film of this lube around all, all around on the O-ring. Okay, then we're going to carefully go ahead and install this guy. Do the heat tube up in there. And then go ahead and thread your valve on. Uh, again, it's important, don't use a strap wrench or any kind of wrench on this. Hand tight's all you need to do. You just need to seal that O-ring. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and install our bypass valve. Again, there are two O-rings in the inlet and outlet here. Want to make sure you put some lube on those as well. And on the back of the valve and on the bypass valve, you can see there are arrows. So you want to match the arrows, the inlet to the outlet. This guy just slides in like this. And again, you just hand tighten the fittings. The O-rings do the seal, so you don't need to worry about that. Then we're going to put on our one inch adapters. Again, we seat with O-rings here, so we'll put a little lube on these guys. And we'll go ahead and pop those in as well. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and install our inlet and outlet valves, or uh, flex lines, and we do sell these uh, as an accessory um, if you were interested. And these guys just have little rubber seals that seal on the inside of the, uh, up against the seat. So we'll go ahead and snug these guys up. Okay, and now one thing we want to do is we want to make sure we put our bypass valve in the bypass mode. So we'll do that by actually turning the valves so the handles face each other. So this is in bypass mode now. So what that will do is the water will come in through the valve and out. It will not go into the tank yet, so we've still got that isolated. Okay, now we're going to hook our drain line up. That's going to go from the side of the valve here to our facility drain. Okay, so for the facility side of the drain line, uh, we also uh, sell as an option the uh, air gaps here. Uh, you would just use PVC primer and cement for that guy and glue that on. And then we also offer drain line, just 5 8 clear tubing. And we're basically just going to put this guy on with hose clamps. So you just slide it on there. And, and then on the valve side, you'll attach it to this fitting right here. Again, it's just a barb fitting. Slide the tubing up over it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and plug in and power up our valve. Uh, first thing we'll do is remove the dust cover. Basically, so there's a tab in the front and the back. You slightly pull those apart and the dust cover will come off. And then the uh, plug end of this will go in farthest outboard hole here, marked P. There's P, B, and S. We'll go in P for power. 
and then the other end just goes into a standard 110 outlet. 